Hey, it's Carrie Flatley here for this week's Friday Fire at Remax Real Estate Lethbridge and Carrie Flatland Associates. So we're going to do our summer market update and it's all good news right now. Obviously, uh, about a week ago, Alberta completely reopened after a long, long year and a half of COVID. So that's super exciting. Uh, if you haven't got vaccinated, get vaccinated. I'm sorry if that offends the people who don't want to get vaccinated, but um, it's a really exciting time in Alberta, so I am sharing that with you. And the other thing that excite, excites me is statistics, real estate statistics. I love the numbers, and we've got lots of good numbers to share today. So just for posterity, it is July 9th, 2021. Alberta reopened on July 1st and the real estate market in Lethbridge is absolutely on fire. So that momentum that we've been picking up and picking up and picking up since last summer, really, um, it is not slowing down. And I've compared the numbers to the numbers I pulled April 30th and they're even a little better. So lots of good things to talk about. From a big picture standpoint, you know, people are curious what's driving this. You know, we've been in a pandemic. The Alberta economy has been in trouble for the last five, six, seven years. Like, what, how is it that real estate is just so hot across the country and in Alberta and specifically in Lethbridge? Well, what's driving that are a few things is historically low interest rates, consumer confidence as the economy reopens, and also as people have had much, much more time to spend at home, they are seriously reevaluating their lifestyle and what they want in a home. And more than ever, they're seeing that, you know, working at home is probably going to be a more permanent part of our lives going forward. We realize that COVID is here to stay. We've now seen like, you know, no generation for a hundred years, what it means to be comfortable at home. So everybody's got real estate on the brain. But the other thing is that, and I've talked about this before, is Canadians across the country are sitting on literally billions of dollars in cash because they've had nowhere to spend their money for the last year and a half. They've been at home. They're saving more money than ever. They kind of like that they've saved all this money, but they want somewhere to put it. They haven't been going on exotic vacations, which are very expensive. They haven't been going out to eat as much. They just have more disposable income. So real estate is always at the top of people's minds when they have a large sum of money and they want to know a safe place to put it. So if they've been thinking of making a move, now's the time to sell or buy because interest rates are so low, money is cheap, and consumer confidence is coming back. The Alberta economy is poised to make a very strong comeback compared to lots of other provinces in Canada. So that's all the good news from a macroeconomic standpoint. Let's look at the Lethbridge numbers, which I think are pretty impressive. Right now, we only have, I'm just gonna pull the exact numbers for you. We only have 2.2 months of inventory in the city of Lethbridge. That is incredible. I think we're even doing better than Calgary right now in terms of months of inventory. Now, what does months inventory mean? It means that if you line up all the people with houses on the market right now who are waiting to sell their home, it would take 2.2 months for buyers to pick up all of those properties and purchase them, effectively removing them from the market, all other things being equal. So, 2.2 months of inventory is very low. Three to four months inventory is a balanced market. And then anything higher than that, we're getting into a buyer's market. And Lethbridge was in a buyer's market for 
years and years and years and years aside of a few little pockets in the market especially in spring well we've seen a seller's market now for many months in a row so that's pretty exciting also it's interesting to look at the price points because it depends on your price point how many months inventory there is too and if you want to drill down even further it depends if you're in north lethbridge south lethbridge west lethbridge because those are sub markets of the broader lethbridge market for example in the 200 to 300 and 300 to 400 price range we only have 1.7 months inventory that's really hot that's a hot market the other exciting thing that I'm seeing is that some of the more expensive price points are tightening up and becoming much more advantageous for the seller than we've seen in it in as long as I can remember so for example 500 to 600,000 there's only 2.1 months of inventory I mean that's incredible for Lethbridge so if you have a higher end home and you've been thinking about selling there's really nothing to wait for at this point. I mean, this is as good as it gets in Southern Alberta real estate. If anything, it could start to soften over time, right? So now is a great time if you're thinking of selling. You can never time the market perfectly. My point is there's nothing to wait for. There's nothing to wait for. Find a great realtor, give me a call. Like there's nothing to wait for. A couple of other interesting stats that I pulled up is days on market is also tightening up. So last year, if you looked at this period of time, we were well over 80 days on market on average. Now we're in the 60s for days on market. On my side of the desk, we're doing much better than that even still. So, you know, you can have an offer within days of being on the market if you've got the right positioning, the right price, and the right presentation. I've talked about those things in lots of other Friday Fire videos. You can look that up on my blog at carryflatlow.com. But price, presentation, positioning, if those things are right, you will get an offer quickly, you may get multiple offers, and you will have a very motivated buyer step up quickly, raise their hand and say that they want your house, and you'll sell it for more money as well. So that's what's going on in the Lethbridge market. There's some other interesting things out there in the economy, I think, to think about going forward. Um, with travel restrictions now, you know, will people start opening their wallets and booking their Mexico and Hawaii vacations again? It's actually not that straightforward because there is still a travel advisory in Canada. They aren't stopping everyone from traveling. They're strongly recommending against international travel. Um, there's different rules about vaccination and quarantine depending on where you're going to and where you're coming from. And, you know, I think that could put a damper on some of that type of spending. And again, Canadians are sitting on a lot of cash and I think consumer confidence is also going to start bubbling up again and I think all of those things combined with low interest rates and a recovering economy in Alberta mean that the real estate market is going to stay very stable if not strong for the foreseeable future. If you have any questions about how all of these things affect your decision to buy or sell this year, just give me a call or shoot me a text 382-7335 or visit us at carryflatla.com. We would be happy to hear from you. Have a terrific weekend. Stay cool and we'll see you for next Friday Fire. Take care.